we are on the letter A, the very first letter of the alphabet 10 piece. And you've got to guess where we are. So pretty certain you'll guess if you know what is on the uh, what is on the letter A. And I'm going to do, I'm going to pan up. I'm actually sat in the car. Lady M and Ellie and I have already been to this uh, magnificent sculpture and already done all our filming. But unfortunately, it's absolutely windy as. So the audio is not very good. And also I filmed pretty much all of it on slow-mo. So after about five seconds, I just start going. <laughs> so I've pretty much completely knacked all the filming. So the only option is to be sat here in the car and baking because it's a wonderful day. It's absolutely red hot and uh, it's coming through the windscreen and I am boiling. I am a baking bear, shall we say. So has anyone guessed it? There's the letter, it's a letter A. And they're just going to pan over and you're going to see exactly what we came to see. So hopefully, in Fungal a few fingers. seconds... <laughs> sorry? Fungal fingers? Yeah. Can you see my fingers? <laughs> Something just blobbed in the screen. Oh dear, sorry if you could see Lady M said you could see my fingers, sorry about that. So hopefully in a few minutes you're going to see a little bit of footage, or quite a bit of footage that we filmed while we were here. I don't think there's going to be any audio, but uh, hopefully you'll get the, uh, you'll get the gist of what uh, a magnificent structure this is and Lady M has got some facts and figures and what have you so we might have to come back in the car and uh, and do it but let's uh, let's see so this is the letter A of the alphabet 10 P's oh how do I get this here we go there we go got it in like an absolute pro there there we are there's the letter A for Angel of the North absolutely stunning design and I tell you what it's it's even more stunning in the in the flesh
Okay, so some facts and figures. So first off, which I thought was quite appropriate for today, I'm just gonna zoom in. So the sculpture itself was built to withstand wind and weight, the weight. So it was drilled 33 meters through the soil and the rock, which you'll be able to see here. So there's the actual angel on the top. If I zoom out slightly, you can see that she stands on a plinth and she also stands on a slab and then there's four columns which are called piles that she uh, that kind of hold her in place so the designer zoom in a little bit there was Anthony Gormley so he was the sculptor and then that is his original artist's drawing and then there's some facts about the angel down here so she stands 20 meters tall which is the equivalent to four double decker buses and a wingspan is 54 meters which is almost the width of a jumbo jet um, so she weighs 208 tons um, she was um, on total cost of uh, 800,000 pounds uh, Thomas Armstrong were the constructors uh, yeah and you can see stand winds of 100 miles an hour um, we're not quite at that today but it's not, it's, it doesn't feel far off uh, so here's some pictures of her actually being put into place so this is her being transported to the site and then this one over here is where she's being craned into place and then they're attaching the wings and I believe the head was built separately and then they're attached afterwards. Okay. So they started building in uh, 1994, I believe. So I've been told by Ellie. Um, and she was finally put uh, in place in 1997. Okay. Right. I think that's about it. I'll do a bit of a pan up from where I stood. You can see there she is, stood in all her glory. 